before the Badgers takes over at his own 19. There's a freshman carrying it out to the 30-yard line. Jonathan Taylor picks up <laughs> second down and three for Hornybrook as he lines up with two tight ends. Gives it to his freshman workhorse, making a move. With a confidence, according to everybody in this program. And it helps when you have a stable of running backs you can go to. Bradrick Shaw barely gets back Bradrick to the line Shaw. of scrimmage. Man. To a tremendous start this season. Chris James gets a turn. And now it will be third down and eight on third down. Granted against Utah State, Florida, Atlantic, and BYU. Here's Hornybrook dropping the throw. He is looking for the deep ball to Quintez Cephas. Incomplete. From 21 down to make it a one possession game. She said they don't want to go out there and leave any doubt about who they are as a group this year. Jonathan Taylor drives the pile close to the 40 yard line. Well, out of those fears. Taylor again. That's a first down carry. That learning curve. He loves the physical contact. Play action for Hornybrook. Goes through his progressions, comes back to the near side and finds Cephas. That's a six carries for 40 yards already for Taylor. He gets the call on first and goal. And he drives his way down to about the six yard line for a DP of that game. He's a red zone machine. They're going to keep it on the ground here. Crab crawling to the goal line. And there goes Taylor in motion. Play action for Hornybrook. Stumbles in the pocket under pressure and down he goes lost the football the ball popped out was he down Five and a half so getting home big deal Hornybrook off schedule now second and 16 hit as he throws and that one Hornybrook back to throw Floats one over the middle and it's incomplete again. There was more in this first half than he has all season Certainly at BYU, he didn't get hit 18 to 19 a week ago. He didn't have any pressure in his face. He had Fumagot, no tempo, no rhythm whatsoever. Well, Hornybrook, two of six for 13 yards. He's got a ground attack, though. Weaving his way for about three. So a good game on ESPN and a good one here on ABC as well. As Hornybrook looks deep, jump ball. And that's intercepted. Picked off by Godwin. Igwe Buque. And he is trapped. Straight back to throw. Hornybrook, this time pretty well protected, but then the protection collapses. Did the ball come in? The field is. The quarterback was down, third down. Well, I don't know. Not only can they rule that a fumble if they go to replay, but if Gaziano has clear recovery, that would be a Northwestern takeaway. The second half after Wisconsin got the stop for their offense. They'll begin with Jonathan Taylor. And he'll maybe get a yard or 125 pounds. That's more than the number one pick in this year's NFL draft. Miles Garrett put up at the combine. Quintez Cephas reaches back to make the catch. And if you not enough of them, they're all pitching. Need more quarterbacks. Hornybrook on second down and long. Long throw outside the numbers. Breaking a tackle, Danny Davis. The freshman down inside the 10 to the second. First eight minutes of the second half. And now one of those secondary tacklers, Cairo, off the field. First and goal. Jonathan Taylor. Works his way to the five-yard line. This becomes an enormous set of for you at times. Now it's Jonathan Taylor. Moves the pile for a game. Play pass opportunity. And they will play fake it. On the wheel route. Taylor, he's got it. Flat. And the hold back there to get that backside wheel route. Everything sets up play action pass here. Again, those safeties just six, seven yards deep. And you'll see Ramish right here. He's trying to do his part. Defense, you've got them behind the chains, second down at 18. Hornybrook up the middle, well short of the first down. Cool. Five men out in the route, and Hornybrook still well protected off his back foot, high and incomplete. So, North that you have built and developed through that heavy run. Yep, they'll start on the ground with Jonathan T. Look at the depth of those safeties still sitting there at six, seven yards. Taylor again. 
About three. First half, and you got to keep him out of rhythm because if he gets hot and he plays confident, he delivers. Bradrick Shaw. Dragging tacklers close to the five-yard line. Shaw again. Down to the four. Hornybrook to the end zone. Incomplete, looking for Cephas with Wisconsin having the football. Jonathan Taylor brought down by Tyler Lancaster right at the Northwestern still with two timeouts left, but they have to have a three and out. Jonathan Taylor stretching to the outside. He's wrestled down inside the five. Because I don't think he would have bought it. <laughs> From the end zone, Hornybrook to throw. And that's broken up. Wow. So now not only... Stranger things have happened. Bradrick Shaw, the lone setback. And then they'll give it to him. He'll bounce right. And he is brought down after a gain of four. Shaw again. Stood up after a gain of about two, and now the timeout will be called by Pat Fitzgerald with two over the year. Three tight ends, Bradrick Shaw, the lone setback. And they will run it with Shaw. And he will be stopped short. At least two yards shot.